Hi everyone, this is Virendra. Today I am going to talk about problems related to buying and selling stocks. There are around four types of problems related to this topic. I am going to talk about one of them today. So the problem statement is given an array of stock prices, we need to find out the maximum profit that can be earned by performing one transaction, which involves buying and selling ones. So for example, if you have an array like this, so 100 is the price of the given stock on day 1 and 80 is on day 2, 120 is on day 3 and so on. So you need to find out the maximum profit by doing one transaction over the given period of time. The first approach would be to run two loops, fix a buying price and then scan each selling price after that day and figure out the maximum profit. right? So you will need two loops for that and it ends up being order of n squared and it's a very naive approach. So there is a better approach to this by tracking the minimum buying price and then calculating the maximum profit as you go along the array. And yes, it is conditioned on you buying the stock before selling it, obviously. Let's see this approach in action. So you have this array, right? I'll call this array as P and then I'll also have a variable which tracks the minimum buying price. I have initialized it to a maximum integer here. I also have a profit variable where I'm tracking the profit I, that I could earn. Right. So let's start. So the first element is 100. Is 100 less than the minimum buying price? Yes. Right. So I'll update the minimum buying price to 100. And then I'll also try to calculate the profit at this point. If I sell, if I buy and sell at 100, what is the profit? Zero. So I don't have to update it. Right. And then I move forward. So the buying price at this point would be less than the buying price we had before. Right. So this condition becomes true and then we update the minimum buying price to 80 and then again we'll try to calculate the profit if we buy and sell at this point our profit will be zero so we don't have to update the profit let's go ahead we see 120 as the stock price if we consider buying at this point is it the minimum buying price no right so this condition becomes false and we try to calculate the profit at this point. So here the profit will be 120 minus 80, which is P of I minus minimum buying price. So 120 minus 80 is 40, right? So which is greater than the current profit that we have. So we'll update the profit as 40, okay? Let's move forward. And here the, here the stock price is 130. Is it less than the minimum buying price? No, right? So this condition becomes false. And then we compute the profit by considering this as a selling price what would be the profit it would be greater than the current profit we have right 130 minus 80 is 50 which is greater than the current profit so we update the profit to 50 and i moves ahead so we see that the stock price is less than the minimum buying price correct so this condition becomes true and the minimum buying price is updated to 70 if we consider buying and selling at 70, the total profit will be zero, which is not greater than the previous profit we had, right? So we don't update the profit, okay? Let's move ahead to 60. Here again, the stock price is less than the minimum buying price, right? So this condition becomes true and we update the minimum buying price to 60. Again, the profit is not greater than the current profit if we buy and sell at this point. So we don't update the profit right what this means is we are still assuming that we had bought at 80 and sold at 130 okay that is the maximum profit we got we'll update the profit only if we get higher profit going forward right so let's go ahead the stock price is 100 on this day not less than the current minimum buying price so we don't update the minimum buying price if we try to sell at 100 assuming that we bought at 60 our profit will be 40 right it's not greater than the current profit so we don't update the profit let's go ahead we see that the stock price is 125 again it this condition becomes false so we don't update the minimum buying price but the profit becomes higher if we if we buy at 60 which is the minimum buying price at this point and we sell at 125 our profit becomes 65 so we update the profit okay let's quickly look at the code so this is the signature of the function where it takes the stock prices we track the profit here also the minimum price this loop runs exactly the same as we discussed through the animations it's pretty straightforward please let me know if you have doubts any questions or comments please leave, leave them below the video
Thank you for watching the video. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be uploading three more types of these questions related to buying and selling stocks. Each question is harder than the previous one. This was the easiest one. So please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.